running in a group. She had a high-speed motor in a 44 coupe. She had a racing cam and a supercharge. Look at Buddy Hotter, hot and large. She's a hot rod. She's a hot rod. And I got, I got extremely lucky to be, I'm, and I'm just tickled to death to have the guys from the Make-A-Wish car show with us. I got Daryl Stone and Val May. We're going to talk all about this car show. is probably the biggest one of the year anyway, and it's going to be probably one of the two or three that I made all year. I made a couple at Blue Top, and now this one, and that's all there's been. There hasn't been anything really going on because of this whole thing. But they've had to jump through a few hoops, I'm sure. I'm going to ask them about it. But these guys are they're putting together a show for a great cause. Hopefully we'll get the Lauren from Make-A-Wish to call us from down down south and tell us all about the Make-A-Wish Foundation as it is. But these guys, uh, Daryl, Val, welcome to the show, boys. Thanks, George. I'm glad you're here. Thank you, George. Daryl, I, I got to tell you, you had to jump through hoops to get this done. We had to file a plan with the health department telling how we were going to keep people safe. One-way traffic, uh, social distancing, masks when you get close to someone. So if you're you're at a raffle table and you can't get away from everybody, I just need you to slip the mask on for a couple of minutes until you can get back to social distance. So you win. Yeah. <laughs> so you win your win. prize. <laughs> yeah. So well, it's a small price to pay. Put a little mask on there, two minutes, and I win something. That'll be great. Yeah. You guys are going to have a lot of activities out there. You got a lot of stuff going on. Why don't you tell us what's going on? First of all, give us, give us all the dope on it. Give us everything, the the time, the place, yada yada. That for for professionally. You know it. I September don't. the 20th. I do. But at I the do. Cedar Lake Town Grounds. Uh, the address is 7408 Constitution Avenue. Um, show starts at 9 o'clock. Well, registration starts at 9. Show starts at 10. And providing that our judges can keep up with all the cars, we're going to pass trophies out at 3 o'clock. Yeah, that, 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 that can happen. It's, it depends on how many cars you're going to have. How many cars do you figure are coming? Um, I'm going to guess we're probably going to have probably 250 cars. Maybe more. It's a lot of judging. It's a lot of judging. And you got a lot of trophies, too. I saw that. How many trophies you got? Uh, I think we have 74. 74 classes, 74 different trophies. That's just no, a... 25 classes. Yeah. And then we have specialty things. Ladies Auxiliary, Boy Scouts, Curry Motors Choice. Curry Motors is one of our big sponsors. We have the Make-A-Wish Kids Choice. We have a Memorial Choice Award and a Best in Show Trophy. Three of those are six oh, foot tall. Forget the Eagles, get mad. And the big Eagles. Oh, the Eagles, yes. The Eagles were the sponsors of the show. For, they have been one of the sponsors the for quite members, a while. Yeah. That's a great group out there. They have a great group out there in Cedar Lake. The Eagles, they're, they're absolutely great. That, uh, that one time you guys used to, used to have the show at the American Legion, which was right next door to the Eagles Club, right? right? But it was too small, right, Val? You couldn't do yes, it anymore. Sir. We outgrew it. Yeah, he outgrew it. And the Cedar Lake Town Grounds is huge. That's right by the Lighthouse Restaurant, if you're not familiar with anything else in Cedar Lake. Or Lighthouse Restaurant, everybody knows where that is or can find it. And there's, it's a huge show. And it's, it's a good show. It's a lot of fun. Be a lot of stuff for the kids to do, right? Maybe. <laughs> we have we have some voting ballots for the kids to pick a kid's choice car. Oh, they're going to have yeah, a kid's choice. So they got a little sticker they can wear on their shirt that says they're a judge and their own voting ballots. Uh, we also have a class for bicycles for kids. Oh, and how cool is that? We've decided that <laughs> if the kids want to be grown-ups and do the car show and bring their bicycle, they should be like the grown-ups, and they have to pay their own way, and it's going to cost them $1. Oh, a whole dollar. <laughs> That's going to be great, though. It's going to be fine. Who's judging Who's judging the bicycles? I don't know. You yeah. want to? You want no, to no, 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 no. I'm going to be busy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of people to talk to that day. I talked to... I talked to no less than 200 people on those shows. So that, that's a, just a great show. But it's also for a great cause. Let's face it, you guys are, you guys are working with people that are, it's all, it's all a charity, and it's a real charity. I, I have a real problem with some charities. I wouldn't be involved in anything that wasn't a real, a for real, true charity for kids. And this, that's what this is. Make-A-Wish is 100% legit charity for kids. There's no... There's nobody driving around in a Bentley that runs the show. You know what I'm saying? Not like all. certain other groups. I mean, come on. There's there's other groups that just, yeah. But this is a great show. This is a great bunch of people, too. These guys have been, how long have you guys been doing this? How many shows you had? This will be number four. 
This is number four. This is the second one at the town grounds? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, the first two were at the Legion grounds, right. which was, the Legion grounds is right when you get into Cedar Lake, and if you go a little bit around the lake, there's the town grounds. And it's a lot bigger, a lot bigger. A lot more bathrooms, stuff like that. It's a lot nicer, you know, it's for, for, for that amount of people, let's a face it. A lot more room to social distance. Yeah, well, exactly, too. Val's, Val's got a point. Social distance is going to be the key here. We're going to want it down. Everybody's got to, everybody's got to, you know what, stay away from each other a little bit. Just talk from here to there. That's fine. There's no smooching, right? No smooching. I, <laughs> that goes without saying anyway. But yeah, now at the town grounds, they have, they have ample parking, plenty of parking. There, there's no admission to get into this show, correct? Not for spectators. No. Okay, for well, there's an admission fee for cars that are being judged. Right? Yes. Of course, yeah. And you had a lot of stuff donated for that. A lot of trophies donated? Yes. Curry Motors Ford pays for all the trophies. Curry Motors in Valpo? Yes. Oh, that nice dealer. It's a good dealer. Well known. They've been there a long time, too. They, uh, there's, they, Curry has several different dealers, don't they? I don't think they're just Ford. I think they have some other stuff. Yeah, I think they have a Chevy store in it's like a It's like a family thing, you know. Not quite as big as some of them, but yeah. That's the new thing now with dealerships. They our families own four or five different brands. It works. I, I guess it works. I'm not into the sales end of it. I'm into the wrenching end of it, just like you guys are. Mm -hmm. This is like this is three old gearheads, by the way, telling you this stuff. Our, there's a lot of dirt under these fingernails. A lot of dirt's been washed out of these fingernails, and you know it. <laughs> but hey, Daryl, you gonna have your car there? Uh, no. I'm going to just uh, bring my pickup truck with all the supplies that we need, and uh, Pauline's going to drive her Mustang. Okay, you're not judging. You're not doing it. You're not going to be part of the show anymore. Uh, not this year. Not this year. Well, you know what? It's probably for the better. They got enough. If they got that many cars to judge, you, you don't need to come up to work a bit. Yeah, they don't judge mine when it's there anyway. Yeah, I, I know. Don't, uh, I, I, we, don't, we don't participate with the group Yeah. as far as trophies or anything. Well, that's that's just yeah, keeps it fair, keeps it, on, keeps it on top of the table, and that's the exact way it should be actually. Is there a phone number anybody can call if they got questions? 219-746-1535. 1535. There you go. 746-1535. Yep. Just don't call until after the show. George made me turn it off. <laughs> oh, that's your phone. Okay. Yeah, it is off. Yeah, mine's off too. And Eric's is off and every Val's is off. We're all off. We're all off a little bit, right? Now, the show starts at, well, it registrates at 9, Yep. show starts at 10, and you're going to have some kind of food vendor there, which is hard to do in this with this pandemic rules. I mean, that's not easy to get somebody to come out there. Yeah, we should have burgers and hot dogs. Uh, the Boy Scouts are going to have, uh, I believe Val took care of that. It's going to be 200 hot 200 dogs. 200 hot dogs, 200 hamburgers. That's just feed Bring an lessons. appetite, George. Oh, I always <laughs> do. I can't, go, I can't go to a car show without eating. And having a couple of sodies. <laughs> we just like to get that kettle corn. Yeah, I know that I can't get that kettle. I hope you guys can find a kettle corn guy, but that's, it's tough to get anybody to come out this year. Nobody, matter of fact, most of these carnival guys and stuff and show guys didn't buy any supplies because they knew they couldn't go to any shows. Exactly. Right. Why have that stuff sitting and get, get moldy? I mean, you know, there's a, a lot of different, it's going to be different either way, but guess what? It's still going to be great. It's going to be a great show for a great cause. You can bet on it. They, these guys, what, well, last year or the year before, what did, what did, you, what did you cash in at? Last year, $11,700 after all the rain. Beautiful. We were short a lot of cars. Oh, I know. It, it was threatening to rain all day, and then finally about 3 o'clock it did. A couple of hours, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I got my I got my stuff in the car just as the first drop was falling. I remember that. I do remember that. I've got. I'll be there years truly, of course, with my table and the girls. I'm hoping the girls from Auto Value will be back with me this year. They say they will. Mm, me too. You know, they they were a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, they're crazy. They, they. I'll tell you what. I have more fun with those gals. Of course, at my age, I have a lot of fun with young gals. What the heck? It's fun to fun to fun to party, and they have a good time. They. They tell you what. They really know how to push a product. They know their stuff. They really do, and that's a lot of fun too. And of course, one of them ended up taking home a stoplight. They were at the auction, your auction, they bought a stop and go light. She had to stuff that in a Dodge Charger to get it home. She had to stuff it in the back seat of a Dodge Charger. It was a huge stop and go light, three bulbs. Crazy. And I think we have a phone call, uh, no? Yes. Okay, you're on with the car guy. Hello? 
You're on Hello, with the car guy. Hi. Lauren. Yeah, hi, Lauren. How are you? Good. Good. I'm glad you called. Uh, this is Lauren. Yes. The, she will be the Make-A-Wish person this year. She's from, you're from Indianapolis, of course. But this is the gal that uh, really is Make-A-Wish's main person down here or in this area. Uh, you want to tell us all about this show and how, how you're looking forward to it, Lauren? Yes, we are just so excited. And thank you to all of you guys listening. And we're just so uh, Daryl and all of you guys on right now, we are just so honored to, to have your support again this year. It just means so much for these families in Indiana to bring hope, strength, and joy when these kids need it most. And especially now in this crazy time with the pandemic, you know, it's, we're giving these kids a, a moment to, to really dream and think about what they, they wish for. And they're getting so creative and just so fun to hear what, what they are, are hoping for. Oh, exactly. Maybe we can put a little light in this dismal summer we've had. It's just been awful. And we're going to have these kids now. I, I didn't understand this completely when I first got involved, but I first got involved because of these guys. And I, I met Lauren, and they're just great people, the Make-A-Wish people. And I, I, I didn't even know what Make-A-Wish was when I first got involved. And it took me a while to understand. And I say the actual person that we have at the show, the spokesman, these, these wishes are granted all the time to kids all over the country, I understand, right, Lauren? Yes, that's correct. But our chapter is Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. And what money, whatever money we raise in Indiana stays in Indiana. So we are very local. Um, the mission and all of that, you know, branding, things like that come from make wish America, but we are a very local chapter in what we do and the families we serve. Okay, so you're serving Indiana people. That's great. This is the Indiana chapter right here, and they're serving Indiana kids. Yes. And we, I've seen some wishes that were crazy. One was Australia. The one was Disney World. I mean, you guys have a lot of great times, and you do a lot of good things for these kids. Yes, yes, absolutely. And it really just the impact it makes on these children and their families. It lasts forever, and it truly goes into the community because, like you all, the community supports us and just sees the impact that we're able to create for these families, which is incredible. Well, you know, and especially now with this this year, the way things have been, yes. there's been a very, there's been, yes. a, there's no car shows, there's nothing going on in our world, and you know, there's three old gearheads sitting here talking, Lauren, me and myself and Daryl and Val, and car shows are, to us, are, but to have a cause that is well worth it, like you guys, and then have a car show is even better. You know, we could, I could yeah. do a car show in my in my in my basement or my parking lot if I had to, but this is going to be a big car show and it's going to be great, and it's going for to a good yeah. cause. You, how long have you been involved yes, with absolutely. Make a Wish? So I've been at Make a Wish for five years, um, but I actually received a wish uh, twenty years ago when I was sixteen. Um, so it's been a part of my life for a very very long time, and kind of was a turning point in in all of you know, who I become became as a person. Um, so it, it has really shaped me, you know, I had cancer in high school and it really changed me uh, for the better. And, and, you know, Make-A-Wish came into my life at a crucial point when I needed a little extra light. And uh, here I am today kind of giving back and helping my community in a way that I know makes a, makes a really big impact. So you were a Make-A-Wish kid. I was, I was. Oh, that's fantastic. That's absolutely great. Yeah. How did you meet these slugs, these guys here, these gearheads? <laughs> it's, it's great. I love working with Daryl and, and really everyone up in your area. Um, you know, it's it's people like, like you guys that, you know, are grassroots fundraising, things that you love, you're passionate about cars, you know, and making that into something that, to do good and change the community, and that's exactly what you're doing. So we can't thank you enough for all your efforts. and. You know, you really are making a difference. And like you said, especially now, um, you know, with the travel restrictions and, you know, before COVID, travel was our, you know, took up about 75% of our wishes. So we as an organization have gone back to the drawing board and said, we still have to help these children. You know, we have to bring them hope. And what is what does that look like? And so we've had conversations with the families and of course, if travel is their number one, then we say, absolutely. We just don't know when. Um, but if there's, you know, something else, we've seen a lot of camper wishes and RV wishes, you know, backyard play sets. These kids are just so creative and, and what they come up with is, is really amazing. 
Well, and this year they haven't had much of anything to look forward to, and this is something great to look forward to. Absolutely. And you got you got three guys sitting here, Lauren, that really aren't too scared of, of the virus because we've sucked enough carbon monoxide in our time that we're probably going to die from that anyway. <laughs> so I don't think a virus is going to get me. If that carbon monoxide didn't knock me out, but the virus ain't going to get me either. We're all here. We were all here before uh, catalytic converters. We know. We know what the what, what the real smell is, and that, like I say, we're a bunch of gear, bunch of gearheads that really really enjoy your cause and the way you do things and the way you do business. The charity is done correctly, and I we like that. I, yeah. I respect that. So many charities are not done correctly. This one I believe is is actually perfect. That I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't be involved if I didn't think so. Yeah, well I I, I agree with you 100 percent, and I think so too. I'm. You know, my heart is with Make-A-Wish, and it always will be, and, you know, just, you know, I can't say enough positive things about, about what these wishes, there's it's so much more about the wish that we're giving these children and their families, so, again, just, you know, thank you for everything. And thank you, and thank you for calling, we're glad we got to talk to you today. Uh, Daryl, you got any questions for Lauren? Lauren, why don't you tell us um, exactly how you plan to pick your favorite car? <laughs> Well, I am so excited to pick the car this year. Um, I think I'm going to be picking off of creativity. I want to kind of channel my inner wish kid mind, and I think that these kids just dream. They dream in their hospital rooms. They dream at home. They dream when they're, you know, not feeling well. And so I, I you know, they're so creative, and I kind of want to go back to my childlike mind. And I don't know a lot about cars, like all the all the stuff that goes into cars. So I'm gonna keep it simple. Um, I have three children of my own. My oldest is four and a half, so I might have her help me uh, just to kind of see that kid-like mind and and you know, colorful, creative. I don't know if that's what you guys want to hear, but I think that's what I'm gonna go with. That's great. We don't really care how you pick it. We just want it to be your pick. <laughs> You'll be yeah, the ma it'll yeah, be the make a well, wish pick. That's great. We always tell people because it's a it's a little kid. You know, you never know when they're gonna pick something just yeah. because they like the color. And it might be the worst yeah. car in the whole place, but they like it. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Well, I love it. I love it. And thank you guys so much for having me on. Thank you for all you do. Thanks to all the listeners because it's you guys that are really supporting Make a Wish and, and these families. So I can't thank you enough for everything. Well, Val, thank you too, and we will be in touch for sure. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much. Thank, thank All right, you. Thanks. Bye. Lauren, Bye. that's Lauren from Indianapolis. She's a Make-A-Wish kid. Re, she was a Make-A-Wish kid at 16, and now yes. she's a young mom of three. Yes. How great is that? 